Hello everyone and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I just found out, I looked this up online, uh, and I'm glad I did because I found a website that tells me how long games are on average. And according to that website, this game takes on average about 40 hours to get through. Just for some context, that's about twice as long as We Happy Few. So I have a whole lot of work to do, but I'm actually relatively okay with that because I am loving this game. So here we are. I'm about to do a quest that is supposedly too hard for someone of my level to complete. But I am going to prove this game wrong and complete the mission. Desynchronized? No! Impossible! Gosh dang it! This is literally harder than Dark Souls right now. Oh. Pericles mentioned a colleague named Matiochos, Matiochos, who missed an appointment. Alexios needed to find him. Also, I am drinking my soda from this unicorn chalice that I ordered online in honor of Phobos. Oh, okay. Um, wow. I will obliterate these snakes. Hi, uh, Sparta. Ha. All right, one down, and I'm gonna charge up this attack. You know, I could be shooting these things, but I feel like that would be a waste of arrows when I could just be doing this, as I am. Yeah, there we go, see? No need to waste my arrows. Ah, yeah, I'm faster than any of these snakes. Good grief. Man, that's a lot of snakes, what the heck? What happened? Free prisoner, hello? What happened to you? I'm always happy to help someone in need. The world could do with more Aww. like you. Yeah, I'm a hero, right? Pericles sent me. He was worried about you. Do you often get tied up and surrounded by snakes? How can you joke about this? <laughs> Thugs broke into my home, dragged me here, tied me up and surrounded me with these hideous creatures. They must be stopped. The snakes? The thugs! <laughs> <laughs> by the way, has anyone else noticed that every character's chest hair is exactly the same in this game. <laughs> Where can I find them? Who were the thugs? I have what I need. Uh, let's go with two. Did you recognize the people who did this? Pericles asked me to go down to the fishing district and talk with the poor and sick to give them hope. That's how I recognized their voices. Oh yes. They threw rotten food and yelled insults at me. These thugs disguised their faces, but their voices and the stench of fish were unmistakable. Why did it have to be snakes? Why would anyone do this? Politicians are easy targets in these troubled times. When they tied me up, they said I was a snake. That I should die by my own kind. Well, that's rude. All right. Where should I look? The regulars at Cleon's rallies. They live in the flooded part of the city near the wall. All right, I'll then. track them down, Meteochos. Don't worry. Meteochos. are high right now. At this rate, we'll tear each other apart within the city before the Spartans can breach the walls. All right, wow. Those are big snakes. Look at those. I would not want to have been in this guy's position. Go to the home of the attackers. Well, I'm there. Is this them? Oh, it's an investigation area. Okay. That makes more sense. All right. Oh, oh they're alive. Okay. I thought they were dead snakes for some reason. All right, you know what? This is much faster. Maybe. I actually don't know if it is. Sorry, snakes. Oh, gosh, there's another one. Okay. E yeah. There we go. All right. Snakes. Like the ones that were meant to kill Meteochos. I thought they were going to make an Indiana Jones reference there. Like, snakes. Why would it have to be snakes? But no, they didn't. They made a Star Wars reference, so, you know, it wouldn't have been that surprising. What's this? Excuse me. Don't let me interrupt your wood carving. You're doing great. Snake bites. And someone hid the body. Though I have a feeling this death was an accident. Doesn't look very well hidden. Looks like the thugs who attacked Meteochos weren't the masterminds behind this plot. But the letter proves they're just tools in someone else's plan. Who's? What the f*** are you doing sniffing around my house? You attacked Meteochos. I found the snakes, the letter from your friend, and a body. All here. That guy looks so sad. We all knew the risks. Chains don't happen without a bit of blood being spilled. Oh, uh, tell me where you got the snakes. Why did you do it? 
Why kill Meteochos with snakes? We're prisoners in our own city because of Pericles and his crooked friends. The snake dealer told us it's time to send a message. Time they suffered. You can't take the law into your own hands. Now I need to decide what to do with you. Cleon says it's time we took the city back from the elite. Time to fight. Don't matter what you do to us, there will be others who follow our lead. I know someone gave you those snakes. They used you to do their dirty work. I want to know who. He's a real hero of Athens. No puppet of Pericles is going to stop him. Don't be someone's puppet. Tell me where the snake dealer is. All right, all right. He's got a camp just outside the walls. Sells his snakes from there. It's not too late to make a difference, but we have to work together. Maybe you're right. You didn't have to show us mercy. But where do we start? Start here. This district is your home. Ignore the politicians and concentrate on where you can make change. Thank you. We will try. I need to read <laughs> Athens of the That snakes, went well. Sir. So this guy is selling snakes to use as assassinate. What the heck? I invented the world's first skateboard, everyone. Check it out, right? Oh, I can do all kinds of cool, cool tricks. Tony Hawk's Pro Spartan. <laughs> all right, we need some awesome punk rock tunes to go with that. Uh, so is this guy like selling snakes to be used as tools of assassination? Is it like the, uh, what is it, the speckled band in Sherlock Holmes stories? Where they, the guy used a snake that bit someone at, was that actually his daughter? That's pretty wrong. I can't even remember. Okay, now it's time to strike. Oh, uh, that's a snake. Reminds me of those snakes that pop up out of jars and plants and stuff in, um, Sly Cooper 2. Ah, that's the guy. Oh, no, wait. Oh, the poisoner. Okay, that's him. I understand what I can do, maybe. But what I have to do is make sure that there aren't any snakes in my path as I try to do it. Okay. Here's my chance. What can I do with this guy? Ah. <laughs> well, that messed up severely. Ah. What the heck, man? <laughs> uh, that flash was supposed to blind him, like, a lot. This has gone really awkwardly, really. Ah, uh, there we go. And I will Sparta kick you. Whoa! Ah. Uh, Sparta kick. Ha! And can I do a spread shot? I can. Nice. That was awesome. Why am I not locked onto this guy? Oh gosh. I'm almost dead. Good grief. Ah. Uh, I think I should rearrange my abilities. Hang on, hang on, hang on. How do I do that? Oh yeah, rush assassination. I've never... Actually, I still haven't tried that, really. Okay, well, I will replace... Since this guy doesn't have a shield, I will replace that with my shield break, and I will try to remember to switch back to shield break afterward. And I will replace this with vanish, or whatever it's called. Yes, vanish, that's what it is. Oh gosh. Alright, uh, you are in trouble now. Full rush! Did that do any good? Dodge that. Okay, I dodged it. Yeah! Oh man, he's got snakes! Uh, of course he's got snakes, he's a snake dealer, what would I expect? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, I've got an idea. Maybe I can climb the wall or this rock or something and Sparta kick him off. If I don't get shot to death trying to do that. Yeah, come on up. Desynchronized? No! Impossible! But I'm Spartan! What the heck? Alright, let's try this again. Dang it! Uncrouch, please. Oh, you got fire arrows too, huh? Oh, you're not the only one, buddy. Yeah! Alright, now I can try to Sparta kick him off by running up here and where the snakes can't follow, I might add. See, I'm smart. I'm being real smart about this. Sparta! That's not at all what I had in mind. Oh gosh. Dude, I can't really do much about this. What? The, what the heck? I clicked off my screen, off my game. Uh, yeah. Come on. Alright, let's go over here. Let's take this over here, buddy. Now the thing is, he doesn't know where I am now, does he? Oh, maybe he does. Ah, yes, he does. All right, maybe now I can climb up this and uh, Sparta kick him. Oh gosh, that's a snake. I don't know why. I don't know what I expected, but all right, here we are. So now I can charge up the attack and be ready for him. Yeah. 
Oh, he dodged. Gosh dang it. Oh, I hate this guy. Yeah, nowhere to dodge that, is there? Not if I end you first. Uh, yeah. Alright, now I've got my Sparta Kick all ready for him. Sparta Kick! Uh, yeah, take that. That didn't actually do much. <laughs> yeah, I see you too. Gosh dang it! For crying out loud, even the snakes do a whole bunch of damage. Look at that! It's ridiculous! There. Burn in your tent. Now we're just shooting at each other. Oh, for crying out loud! Ugh, I'm literally fight- I'm giving this all I've got. You can cleave a ship in half? That sounds epic, I wanna do that. Yeah, take that, huh? Oh crap, now I'm on fire. Ugh. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. I've- this is literally harder than Dark Souls right- Oh! I cannot remember the last time I've been so angry at any game at all. This is ridiculous. Yeah, see, that does a lot of damage, so if I could just do that again, that would be really, really lovely. Ah. Off with you. Yes, I've almost got him. Ugh. And the satisfying thing is that this is what I've been I'm trying to do all along. So there's nothing wrong with my plan, really. This is yes, that does it. You are dead. Keep friends of safe. Oh, poisoner's dagger. <sighs> I hated this guy. What can I do? to show my wrath upon this stupid guy. There. I burnt his corpse. Somewhat. How can I just toss corpses? Can I just throw corpses, please? He made me so angry that I burned his corpse before dumping it in the ocean. What the heck is that out there? I just cr Oh, what's this? Oh. Oh, look at that. There's already a shark. Cool. Maybe that shark will devour the poisoner. How far can I fly as Icaros? Could I literally just fly all the way to these other islands? I'm gonna try it and then I'll end the episode. Sunken Harbor. Okay. What's that out there? Oh, that's cool. Oh, look at that! Dude! That's so awesome! Oh man, look at that though. That is a huge shark. Can I literally just fly all the way out here? And if I do, will it render as if I've sailed all the way out there? So if I wanted to, I look, that's where I am pretty much, more or less. That little area there, that little stretch of land, that's where I am as Alexios. And I've literally... So if I wanted to, could I just explore this entire game's map in its entirety? by flying around as Icaros. Could I actually do that? Who's this? Is that actually a thing that I could do? Like, could I go all the way up there? I think that's like the Temple of Apollo, maybe? I think you can just explore this entire game, more or less, by flying around as Icaros. This is insane! And the amazing thing is, is that this is all fully rendered. It's not just going to, like, the the islands in and of themselves. It's all there. Like, all the things, all the animals are there. Or they, I, I guess they, like, spawn in as you get close to them. But, I mean, still, what's this? So, I, I can fly all the way up to the... You can barely even see where I started. This is insane. I didn't even know this was possible. I mean, look, there's animals and stuff and everything. Meteos, light soldier. This is uh, incredible. My mind has been blown. Such a way to put a positive spin on an otherwise frustrating and infuriating episode. Look at this. I can't even tell where I started now. I think I started on that little sliver of land there, maybe? 
And I can see all the stuff that I've marked throughout the whole game, pretty much. I think that's about where I started, right there. Are you actually kidding me? This is amazing. Look at this. And there's actual people here. It's not just you going to the, like, half-rendered landmarks, it's actually people here. I cannot believe this. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and... <laughs> Okay, I'm without words. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this episode here. I heard a splash. Please don't put me in the water. I'm in no mood to be eaten by a shark. Wow. That is impressive. That is impressive game design. Hang on, is this an Athenian ship? And if so, could I climb up here? Real quick, I know I said I'm gonna wrap up this episode, but I wanna get up here and see if I can actually jump on that Athenian ship and uh, wipe out all the Athenians. <laughs> That would be epic. Alright, can I climb on this ship? Oh gosh, I've just been reminded there's sharks. Well, I can get on the ship, but I can't really do anything. That's one thing that I did on in uh, Assassin's Creed Black Flag, is um, I actually jumped off of my ship and swam to another, got on that ship, and uh, fought everyone. <laughs> it was really awesome. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this episode of Assassin's Creed Odyssey here, so... Thank you so much for watching this episode and for rooting for me in my fight against the Poisoner, if that is in fact what you were doing. And if you like this episode of Assassin's Creed Odyssey, please leave a great big like for me, as I love when that happens a lot, and uh, click subscribe and ring the bell to stay notified on all of my uploads in the future. Please tell me what your favorite part of this episode was down in the comments especially, and I will see all of you next time. Goodbye everyone.